Hi Scorpio, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your reading. Scorpio, it's going to be what are their true intentions in love, alright? So if you're trying to find out if your person is kind of being, you know, a good guy, naughty or nice, I suppose we can uh, find out here. It's going to depend. The reading may or may not resonate. But please keep in mind, uh, Scorpio, these readings can be vice versa, okay? So it could be back and forth, a switched reading. Let's see what we have for Scorpio and their person, please. Show me the energy for Scorpio. The pig, beware of greed. Okay, somebody is, and this card really wanted to come out. This is the first time I've ever pulled this card. But these, these cards have like two piles, and uh, there's probably 250 cards here. Yeah, there probably is. So, you know, be aware of greed, Scorpio. You're, you, you know, your person could be, it says beware, right? They could be trying to keep all kinds of money. Uh, let's see here. We have maybe hoarding money, August. I'm not sure why August is showing up here. And the tiger, the tiger is doing something risky, taking a chance. So be aware of greed. And I'm not really sure what's happening in, in August. No, I'm not really sure why that's relevant. Uh, it's not your birthday, that's for sure, right? And so let's see, doing something risky, taking chances. Uh, maybe that's you or your person, the tiger, all right? Let's find out and let's get into the reading, Scorpio. And let's get one of these cards because I kind of, these are new cards. They're called the Energy Oracle cards, right? All about the good energy of Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Scorpio is the psychic energy. Yeah, you guys are, totally. So let's see what we have for Scorpio. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and their person. So let's see. And we have First Chakra, Archangel Michael. All right, so this is all about, like, somebody's basic needs are really important here, right? This is the root chakra or the base chakra. Uh, they're calling it the first chakra. They can call it whatever they want, right? But, you know, this is about your needs, like survival needs. It could be, you know about your money, it could be about your house, it could be maybe about your family, but anything that, about your health too, anything that has to do with like, uh, like the basic needs in your life. So let's get into it here. Maybe somebody's trying to keep money here and that is part of your, uh, like your, your basic needs kind of, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Show me the energy for Scorpio and their person. And uh, I guess I'll use this deck since I picked it up. <laughs> I was going to use the other deck. Show me the energy for Scorpio and their person, please. Show me that energy. And recently, your energy, Scorpio. Show me the recent energy for Scorpio. It was the full card. Your current energy is the Five of Cups. You're really sad here, Scorpio. Yeah, so this card, Beware of Greed, uh, maybe your person is trying to keep some money from you. It's a possibility. The block for you is the Seven of Cups. What you want is to walk away from a situation. I feel like you do. The Hierophant is what you are fearing. You look like you're like getting a divorce, maybe. It could be. So let's look at your person's uh, recent energy. The Knight of Pentacles reverse. So they're in the reverse here, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Their current energy is the King of Cups. That's you. But this is you pouring out their cup. All right? Maybe it's them doing it, but this King of Cups, who is typically you, you could be pouring their cup out. You could be sad and kind of like maybe dumping them. Like, hey, get the hell out, you know, something like that. Let's see here. And they could be doing that too because that card is showing up in their energy. And in the block for them, show me the block or the challenge for Scorpio's person. It is the Seven of Swords. Okay, I feel like they're being sneaky here. They could feel like you're trying to be sneaky too. Maybe. Because it's blocking them. Unless their own energy has done this, right? Yeah. So let's find out here, though, about your person. What they want is the Eight of Wands. This is change. This is what they're hoping for. And what they fear is you, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, they're afraid of you here, Scorpio. They're afraid you're going to keep money, maybe. Beware of greed, maybe. They could be afraid that you are doing something risky, possibly. Maybe because you're... This looks like a divorce, though. It kind of does. Because the Hierophant and the Five of Cups is a sad ending. Okay, so let's see. Let's let's find out. They could be afraid to maybe divorce you here. It's a possibility. And 
But they could be doubting here. They could be doubting a situation. It's not only fear, but you're involved here, the Queen of Cups. So maybe some of you guys have somebody else. Your person looks like they have somebody else. That's kind of how it looks. Because you're in the Five of Cups energy. So the past energy for you, the recent past... You had the Fool and the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you're grieving because your person walked away. Because here you are in the Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, right next door, Scorpio. I feel like you're grieving because your person walked away or you had to walk away from them. Because maybe you felt it was better for you, right? For you, for your own personal sanity, maybe. Why is the Seven of Pentacles there for Scorpio? Four of Wands. Yeah, definitely a union. And right now, you're in this Five of Cups grieving energy, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. You could be really pissed off. You could be scorned terribly, right? They could have, like, maybe, they, maybe they're trying to hold money here, anything. But, you know, this is interesting here because you have this uh, first chakra, uh, Archangel Michael. And so this is about your primary needs. This is about your money and your house and things like that. Yeah, it is. And your foundation. You guys, if you're splitting up with somebody, maybe you're splitting up money as well. Why is that Queen of Swords in the reverse for Scorpio? The Justice card. I feel like you are done kind of studying a situation. I feel like you know your... For some of you guys, you could be knowing your relationship is over. Your partnership. And I did mention marriage. Justice is here and the Hierophant is here. Uh, likely when they are in the same reading... There could be, you know, a formal marriage here. And this uh, Seven of Cups is here with the Page of Pentacles. And this is your block. You can be making a hard choice to be single. A really hard choice, Nine of Pentacles. You can be making a hard choice... And the block here maybe is also for you to hold on to some money here. Whenever we see the Nine of Pentacles, right, uh, in the block, you could be challenged by losing money. Maybe because they're being greedy. Beware of greed. Wow. You could be making a hard choice, but you could, the block is that you could be becoming single because they're making a hard choice to be with somebody here. Page of Pentacles. I feel like that's it, because your person looks like they're sneaky, and you look like you're grieving. The Page of Wands is what, they, is what you want, I beg your pardon, with the Two of Swords. So you don't know if you want to walk away from this person or not. I feel like that's it. Or, you could just be feeling stuck here, because they're walking away too. You already look like you left. Seven of Pentacles in the recent past, and that you're grieving it. That you could have been grieving them leaving, though, right? These are general, too. And this hierophant is what you are fearing or doubting. Yeah, you're doubting your marriage. This is kind of how this looks because of sabotage and defeat. I feel like that's what it is. And they are the Knight of Pentacles reversed, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or that's the energy that they have been in. With the Six of Swords. Six of Pentacles, rather. And the Eight of Swords reversed. I feel like you, you could be you could have left them because you thought that they were gonna cut ties with you. Eight of Swords reversed. They could have been in this third party energy in the past, possibly. And this could be saying in the past that they wanted to cut ties, but they didn't really do it, possibly. Eight of Swords reversed. Uh to have like to have a balanced relationship with somebody else. Yeah, you're not going to grieve that relationship with you, right? You're not going to be grieving if that is with you. The King of Cups is their current energy. This is you, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. So you could be pouring their cup out because they are uh, a fire sign or they're dealing with one. Because so far we have Aries Leo or Sag in their energy and also Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And this is about a love offer. Somebody's pouring somebody's cup out because of a love offer. Yeah, like a rejection because of another relationship. The Seven of Swords, the block for them, the Nine of Cups. Wow. 
This could be saying that their marriage is breaking down here with you or their union with you because they've been sneaky. Mm -hmm. Because they want this Nine of Cups person. Yeah. Why is the Nine of Cups there? The Nine of Wands. They are the wounded warrior here. They are. Mm -hmm. That's because they're in a union with you and they're, you know, and this is ending. I feel like it's ending, and you could have walked away from them and kind of grieved them. You could. Uh, mm -hmm. What they desire is the Eight of Wands and the Sun card reversed. Well, for sure they want change. This could be fast change even, Eight of Wands. I feel like they want their clarity. They could feel like they're unhappy, though. The Sun card is in the reverse. Uh, this could be Leo, too, and their desires. Why do they have the Sun card there? The Emperor. I feel like they want to take control of their situation here, and they want change. But the Sun card, I'm not, this could be uh, Leo here. This Emperor could be Aries that they want because the King of Wands is here. But I feel like your person wants it in their mind, in their feeble mind, or whoever they are, they could want change, and they want to take control of their situation, Scorpio. Yeah, and this person could be maybe somebody controlling. The emperor kind of shows up sometimes. Somebody who's older or controlling. And they could want clarity here about change and putting things in order to implement that change in their life. Maybe they want happiness. Maybe that's what they're thinking. Why is this emperor there in their doubt? I mean, their desire. So they're overwhelmed. Yeah, they are. Seven of Wands. And what they fear or doubt is you, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Wow. The Chariot card. Wow. So for me, what this means, Scorpio, your person could be Cancer here, right? Or maybe another water sign. But uh, I feel like they could definitely be an Earth sign. That's their first card here, uh, the Knight of Pentacles. But what they are fearing or doubting, they're doubting they're going to have victory. The Chariot card. Unless they end the situation with you, Ten of Swords. Wow. So we're going to find out all about your person. Yeah, I kind of want to see who they are, too. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. In this reading, I feel like a little bit of a detective because your person is like, uh, I feel like they're up to no good. Yeah. So we're going to find out all about them and how they feel about you and how they are seeing the connection itself and the block like the common block between you both, what they are willing or unwilling to do, Scorpio, what they hide, and their true intentions. They're all super affordable, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here, and please remember to like, share, and subscribe.